Good morning, everybody. It's not a good morning. It's a stressful morning, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, but she's excited. Uh, she's been awake for about an hour and a half, and she's done nothing since she woke up but whinge and whine. Yeah. And yeah, over things that are not even happening. Yeah. Me daddy's on the floor. But your daddy was outside here. No need, is there really? But we're excited, aren't we? Yeah. Why are we excited? Come here to mummy. She's in a pram, I don't know why I'm saying come here to mummy. Why are we excited? Where are we going? Bing. We're going to see Bing. Bing Bunny. And what are they going to say at Bing? It's a... Bing thing. It's a Bing thing. We are going to the Lowry to see Bing Bunny today, which will be fun if you be a good girl. Are you going to sing and dance? And clap? Yeah? Should we go? Yeah. Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Uh, me and Nia. Yeah. <laughs> oh! What have you got? Wow. Sausage roll. Where are we going? Bing. See Bing. Bing. It's a curtain! A curtain? Yes, it keeps what's behind a surprise oh. until the show is ready to start and then it lifts up. Ah! Uh. Yes, it goes right up in the air. Oh. Let me see. Hang on. issues going in which I did mention um, earlier on I only booked this ticket yesterday um, and I rung up the venue and they were saying that under twos got a free ticket like a baby in arms ticket because they'd be sat on somebody's knee so they wouldn't need their own seat so I just booked the one ticket because obviously Amelia's not two yet um, 
so that was all good. We went to the venue, got there, and the the guy that we picked the tickets up from said, "Oh, she's big for uh, under six months," and I was like, "Well, she's not under six months." And he was like, "Oh, well, you don't get a baby arms ticket then." So I was like, "Well, the guy that." I spoke to on the phone said it was under twos and I was really really annoyed because I've actually gone through this on the phone with them yesterday for another show that I had booked where when I booked the tickets I was told that under twos had baby arms tickets and then when I rang up they were saying no no they don't you need to pay for another ticket. The minute I mentioned speaking to the manager he gave up and he was like oh we'll do you a complimentary ticket this time because it's not your fault. She sat so nicely through the first half which you've seen some footage of. She was really enjoying it. She was singing and dancing and clapping and waving and everything. Uh, and then when they had the interval she decided I want to get on the floor and have a bit of a wander which was fine. I let her get down you know I thought it's the interval she can't harm. Uh, and then the second half started and she decided that she didn't want to sit back on my knee so I stood her up between my legs and she could peep through the seats and I think she could just about see the stage but didn't matter what I did she didn't want to sit on my knee um, to see properly so I thought well she's happy leave her you know she was stood watching and then she decided that she would kick off big time like full on screaming, tantrums, kicking, thrashing. Uh, we were right in the middle of a row so I couldn't get her out because it would have meant like pushing past a lot of kids and a lot of like mums and dads and stuff to get out and honestly like it took us 10 minutes to get in and that was before the show had even started. I struggled through to the end of the show with her, kicking and screaming. We missed pretty much most of the second half because of her. Um, luckily, it was, because it was a kids show, it was one of those where it didn't matter too much if kids were like screaming and crying because um, it was really relaxed and they were allowed to get up and make noise and stuff like that. Um, and then it finished, I took her out. She was, The reason she was kicking off was because she was so tired. She didn't sleep well last night, so I think she's getting the cough back that she had at Christmas, which is fab because that wasn't stressful at all. Um, yeah, so she didn't sleep well last night and that's why she kicked off because she was so tired. I had said to her on the way there, you need to have a sleep or you're going to be too tired to watch, but no, nope, she didn't want to sleep. So I knew she was tired, but I thought, well, if she gets too tired, she'll sit on my knee and cuddle up and go to sleep, which she has done before in shows. But no, nope, she didn't want to do that. She'd rather kick off. So I thought, right, let's get her out get her pram back, sit her in a pram and she can go to sleep. I said to her, right, come on, we'll go and change your bum and then we'll get your pram and you can go to sleep. So we got to the baby changing room and there was a couple of people waiting in front of us. So she had to wait. She didn't like that. So I had her in my arms waiting to change your bum and she full on kicked off, like even worse than she was in the theatre. She purposely head headbutted me over and over again because she didn't want to queue up and she wanted to get down she didn't want me to like be picking her up um like and that really upset me and shocked me because she's never ever headbutted before i mean she's done it accidentally you know like babies do when they're like moving their heads around and stuff like that she's done that but she's never ever done it on purpose before and i was so shocked um, and she knew what she was doing as well because she was doing it on purpose she was like really throwing her head back and and I had to like move myself back like that so she couldn't get me um, so that really upset me and then because she couldn't connect with me with her head she threw, her, threw herself forward and tried biting my chest and honestly I have never ever seen her behaviour like that before I mean she's not an angel but she's usually really well behaved especially at stuff like that she's been to loads of shows like that before and she's been so good by this time I, I was getting like i was on christmas day and i was so stressed i was just like oh my god i'm gonna break it down in a minute in tears by the time it got to our turn to change a bum i took her in laid her down on the baby changing mat changed a bum and then i sat her up and like i said to her right you need to calm yourself down we're gonna go and get your pram i'm gonna get your coat on i'm gonna go home and I said to her, when you get in your pram, you can have a sleep. Managed to calm her down um, and I made her say sorry and told her, you, you know, you don't hit but you don't bite. It's not nice, you've upset mummy. Um, 
and after that she was quite calm uh, took her out put a coat on put her in a pram and literally within like five minutes of being in a pram she was absolutely flat out and she slept then until about half an hour after we got home so it took us about an hour i'd say to get home so she had about an hour and a half and after that she was absolutely fine so it was obviously because she was just that tired because she didn't sleep well last night um but i have never ever seen her behave like that before and it really did upset me so that is why like there's no footage from the second half of the show there's no footage like i wanted to get a little shot of us like i was gonna let her walk into the show herself now she's walking i was gonna hold her hand and like walk her into the show herself before it started but because of all the hassle with the tickets we were running late so i literally just had to carry her and run in so there's no footage of that and then when we came out and all that was going on i thought you know what no just just get her out get her home uh so yeah there's not as much footage as i would have liked but it's just one of those things it's been a very stressful day really <laughs> i'm afraid to do it in public as well i just felt like everyone was watching me thinking oh well she's you know she must be a really bad mom because look at how her kid's behaving you know a kid probably behaves like that all the time and she honestly doesn't she's usually so good so yeah don't judge when you see kids behaving like that doesn't mean that the parents are bad parents it just means that the kids are having a bit of a an off day you know maybe they've not slept like amelia didn't because like i said she's never usually like that i always get comments when i take her out about how well she behaves and like what a polite little girl she is and how chatty she is to everybody she just got overtired she needed to sleep um so yeah i mean it hasn't been the nicest day like i really wanted it to be a nice day for her and it got a bit ruined but the show was really good um i think if she hadn't been that tired she would have loved the show like all the way through the first half like i said she loved it she was singing dancing waving blah 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 um she was just too tired to enjoy the second half i am gonna leave it here because i have a parcel over there which came yesterday and i haven't had a chance to open it yet um but it's my youtube lights so i got some amazon vouchers for christmas well i got them for christmas and birthday and i saved them up and i've ordered myself some lights to give better lighting on my videos so that i don't look like this all pale and washed out which i probably still will because let's face it i never wear makeup because i can't be bothered and uh i don't really have the best skin tone or skin complexion for that matter look at that i want to get them set up and like try and figure out how to actually use them and then hopefully tomorrow night i can use them and film a little video for you with them and hopefully you'll be able to see a big difference in the lighting quality so i'm gonna leave this one here if you have enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe as well and click the little bell notification so that youtube lets you know when i upload a video because half the time it doesn't unless you've clicked that sometimes even when you click that it doesn't because youtube sucks um so thanks for that youtube if you're a mum and you're watching this i haven't had a meltdown on this video but believe me if i'd filmed this earlier i probably would have done so i'm aware that my last two videos have been a bit of like oh stressed mummy um so if you have moments like that with your kids which i'm sure you do because every parent does please leave a comment down below and let me know sometimes when your little ones haven't really behaved as you would have liked make me feel better about mine because mine at the moment is awful i think it's terrible twos coming up she's two in a couple of weeks and i think they've come early um so yeah leave a comment let me know about your experiences where your little ones have uh, been a bit of a handful and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye Thank you.